if you think the history of selfies began with a smartphone, an exhibition in London will prove you wrong. It tracks the phenomenon which it claims started in the 17th century. Selfies are often dismissed as self-indulgent and overused. But London's Saatchi Gallery would like you to look at them in another way, as art. Its exhibition, From Selfie to Self-Expression, kicks off with Rembrandt and his self-portraits. The paintings are from the 17th century, but they're represented in a modern way, on digital screens with an option to like them, just like on social media. Rembrandt and Van Gogh used their self-portraits to their humanity, but today's selfie takers often have a different goal. It's more to do with our social circumstances, our social standing, how we would like people to see us in a, an ideal world. You know, it's no, co it's no coincidence, I guess, that, um, that most selfies are shot in, in pretty exotic locations. You know, on holiday, uh, when people are experiencing things that are away from their humdrum, mundane lives. It's not about sharing our humanity, it's about really sharing a version of our identity that we would like people to believe. The exhibition showcases famous selfies of the digital era. It also represents artworks inspired by selfies. English artist Alison Jackson shows celebrity lookalikes capturing intimate moments. The gallery is also holding a selfie contest along with the exhibition. It's seeking to illustrate how society is using technology as a means of self-expression. I think um, too much selfie can hurt, <laughs> but it's okay to, if, if it is a means of questioning your own identity, then okay, you can do it. But if it's a way to showcase yourself to people and say, hey, love me because I look like this and I look like that, then it's something else, yeah. The exhibition concludes with criticism and a warning about selfies. Artist Rafael Lozano Hemmer and Christoph Wodichko created an installation with 12 surveillance cameras. If you have a credit card, you already have a metric selfie whereby the banks know where you bought, what you bought, your geographical position and so on. The idea is that the selfie is not an option. It's something that somehow dissolves our identity for good, but mostly for bad, creating a controlling society. The exhibition runs through the end of May. It puts the selfie in many different poses. The vain, the banal, the dangerous, the famous, and the fake.